guys, welcome or welcome back. If you haven't been here before, my name is Katie. I'm the owner and artist behind Salvaged by K. Scott. I just finished up painting this cute console table and see this little drawer here? I wanna do something fun. If you follow me over on Instagram, you probably already know that I am a huge fan of a cool drawer liner. I love adding a little extra pop of fun to all of my painted furniture pieces by adding some paper liner. Sometimes though, it can be really tricky to find a paper that fits within my own personal style perspective and also coordinates with the piece that I've created. Recently, I've noticed that my friend Jen over at Jen Can Designs on Instagram has been posting gorgeous pics of her furniture with awesome modern tribal print drawer liners. So of course I sent her a DM and asked her where she's getting her paper. She messaged me back right away and said, I'm making it myself. Duh, why didn't I think of that? So thanks Jen for the hot tip and the inspiration. Last night I played around with some recycled paper that my mother-in-law was actually getting away. It's kind of a thicker poster paper and some paint, some old school painting techniques. And I think I came up with a few different patterns that I can pop inside this drawer. So let's get into the video. I'll show you what I made and I'll catch you on the other end. I said old school and I meant old school. I'm sure everyone has made a potato stamp at some point in their childhood and that is exactly what I'm doing here. I just took an old potato and my paring knife and started carving away to make a kind of random tribal design. I wasn't 100% sure what I was going for but I like what I came up with in the end. Here you can see I'm using the other half of the potato to make a simple triangle design. I used my paper towel here to blot off any of the moisture that was coming from the potato. Now I'm just taking a recycled plastic lid and a little bit of plain old black acrylic craft paint. Loading up my stamp, I did a couple of little test stamps on my paper towel just to make sure I was happy with the shapes that I came up with and then I can move on to my paper. And here we go with that first potato stamp. I just did a repeating pattern and I didn't really have a plan in mind when I started this project. I was literally just playing around with potatoes and paint. Is potato stamp number two with my triangles. This is a super on trend pattern right now and I just love the organic look that this potato stamp gives the pattern. To make this cross pattern I just grabbed one of my kids little watercolor brushes that comes in their craft kits dipped into that same black paint and made myself a repeating pattern. This one couldn't get any easier. I just picked up my little container of craft paint and dripped some random drops of paint all over my paper. 
I love how this one turned out. Last up is the splatter technique. I just watered down a little bit of my paint, flung it around off of my paintbrush, and I love this one too. So easy and super affordable too. You could get away with using any kind of white wrapping paper, poster paper, whatever you can get your hands on that is a blank canvas. Use whatever color you want, whatever design suits your style. I love this little hack. Make sure that the next time you head over to Instagram, you go ahead and check out my girl, Jen Can Designs. She is a fantastic furniture painter. I am blown away by every single picture she posts definitely worth a follow. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing here before you go, I would appreciate that as well. Thanks for hanging out with me again today. I'll catch you guys next time.